I gotta screw up more. We gotta get some bloopers. All right. <laughs> Over, under on screw ups, I'm putting at three. Here we go. We might nail it. Thank you for joining us for today's seven super tips. I'm your host, Eric Qualman. Most of you know me as Equal Man. Today, I am super excited. We have US gold medalist and also World Cup champion, Abby Wombeck. That's right, the player that has scored the most World Cup goals, male or female, in the history of the World Cup. So without further ado, here's Abby Wombeck with her seven super tips. Make failure your fuel. Here's something the best athletes understand but seems like a harder concept for non-athletes to grasp. Non-athletes don't know what to do with the gift of failure. So they hide it, pretend it never happened, reject it outright, and they end up wasting it. Listen, failure is not something to be ashamed of. It's something to be powered by. Failure is the highest octane fuel your life can run on. You gotta learn to make failure your fuel. I think that that's a common denominator by people that can reach levels of success that I've been able to reach. Um, I know what I do well. Like I really, I know, I know what I do well. Do not tell me what I do well. Tell me what I suck at, seriously. Because that is how I wanna approach my life. I wanna approach my life in a way that I keep challenging myself, I keep bettering myself day in and day out. And, and, and so those are the coaches that I always, I always connected the most with, are the ones that, that were a little bit harder on me, that were a little bit, had a higher standard for me. Um, because, you know, I think we all know what we do well. Sometimes it's hard to take criticism, and sometimes it's hard to, even if it's constructive, it's sometimes hard. But, you know, know yourself and know that any kind of criticism, good or bad, is important for all human beings to be able to experience and be able to deal with emotionally. Like all little girls, I was taught to be grateful. I was taught to keep my head down, stay on the path, and get my job done. I was freaking Little Red Riding Hood. You know the fairy tale. It's just one iteration of the warning stories girls are told the world over. Little Red Riding Hood heads off to the woods and is given strict instructions. Stay on the path. Don't talk to anybody. Keep your head down, hidden underneath your handmaid's tail cape. <laughs> and she does at first. But then she dares to get a little curious and she ventures off the path. That's of course when she encounters the big bad wolf and all hell breaks loose. The message is clear. Don't be curious. Don't make trouble. Don't say too much or bad things will happen. I stayed on the path out of fear, not of being eaten by a wolf, but of being cut, being benched, losing my paycheck. If I could go back and tell my younger self one thing, it would be this, Abby, you were never Little Red Riding Hood. You were always the wolf. Whenever I talk to kids, uh, no matter where I am, success is always one of those topics that eventually comes up. And the truth is, is I've reached my level of success in one way, and I believe that everybody chooses their own path. Uh, I always like to tell kids that I wish that they could be like me in some ways, but I want them to be like themselves. Uh, don't try to be like Abby Wambach, be better than me, and do the things that I've done in some ways, but you also have to tweak it in other ways to make it your own, so that that's what makes it perfectly yours when you get to that level and you get to that top success. Lead from the bench. Imagine this, you scored more goals than any human being on the planet, <laughs> female or male. You've co-captained and led Team USA in almost every category for the past decade. And you and your coach sit down and decide together that you won't be a starter in your last World Cup for Team USA. So that sucked. <laughs> You'll feel benched sometimes too. You'll be passed over for the promotion, 
taken off the project. You might even be finding yourself holding a baby instead of a brief briefcase, watching your colleagues get ahead. Here's what's important. You're allowed to be disappointed when it feels like life's benched you. What you aren't allowed to do is miss your opportunity to lead from the bench. During that last World Cup, my teammates told me that my presence, my support, my vocal and relentless belief in them from the bench is what gave them the confidence they needed to win us that championship. If you're not a leader on the bench, then don't call yourself a leader on the field. The only label that I need to actually really adhere to and think about and be is human. Because what's happening is we're putting ourselves in these boxes, these, these labeled boxes, and we cut ourselves off from each other. The reason why we do that is because if I'm in this little box, I feel a little bit safer. Because I have like this little community, I have, I have these walls up. But what that's doing, it's cutting us off from all these other opportunities and possibilities and ability to expand. We can challenge each other to kind of break away these boundaries and walls. We can challenge each other to not just be better at our job, but like, let's be better humans. That's, you don't have to literally pay to be a good person. You, 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 you have to just earn the things that you do in your life by all the little choices that you make. Throughout my life, my pack has been my team. Teams need a unifying structure, and the best way to create one collective heartbeat is to establish rules for your team to live by. It doesn't matter what specific page you're all on, just as long as you're on the same one. That's it for today's Seven Super Tips. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Abby Wambach, for your amazing Seven Super Tips. If you want to make sure you don't miss the next episode, hit that subscribe button below. Or maybe you're caught in traffic or working out your thing and you prefer the podcast version. The podcast is just called Super U, the letter U as in university. And again, the podcast and the show are all designed to unlock and unleash your inner superpower. So I hope you got out a lot of today's show. And again, this is Equal Man reminding all of us, it's not what we take from the world, it's what we leave behind. I got an eye roll from the camera crew saying, you screw up plenty. Here we go. And then there's a jackhammer back there, but you got focus.